everybody welcome back to the channel great to have you all here once again where are we today while well, we're on the lower end of the Maruchi River on the Sunshine Coast Queensland Australia and we're gonna break this water down we've done the upper end as you've seen in previous shows we've done the midsection and now we're doing the lower end later on we're gonna go off to some lakes and try some other styles of fishing but right now I'd like to focus on the canals here on the lower end of the Maruchi and see what's in there. I've heard a lot about them and I heard there's a lot of species in there. So we're going to go in, we're going to break it down and hopefully we're going to get some catches. Now, I definitely want to get us big fish for this show. So if you're watching, further on there's something quite substantial coming up. So check that out. And if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell and you'll get notifications on future shows on this channel. We're only trying to get better and better we're trying to get up there in the genre of fishing. So let's go break it down, lower end Maruchi River, and see if we can get some fish. Come on. Straight away, guys. Straight away on again. I've just done it all over again. Wow. This is a big fish again. I've got to keep it in this deep water over here. I just got to keep it in this deep water. This is an insane fish again. It's a big one. Oh my gosh. This application, guys, I'm gonna be using something very small, very light, going into the back ends and uh, just checking out all these little docks and so on. Tide sort of at, at its bottom. It's not a very shallow low tide, this one, so, and the tide's about to shift anyways. But I'm just gonna go up here and I'm just gonna try underneath the docks just to find a bite. Obviously, I don't know this water, it's the first time I'm going. So something small is what I'm after, and I'm just gonna tie something on that's going to be an absolutely gimme bite. You know, that's what I need to find the bite first. Well, here we go, guys, as we come up this uh, little section here towards like the bridge right at the end of the canals, I see a little spot here which might have a few fish in. If I can pitch it just right, I might get a bite. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's the spot, that's the spot. Yes, there it is, there it is, there it is. There she is, beautiful, a big lot of brim here, big one. That's it guys, that's what I was looking for. And there's a bunch with her too. Got the biggest one of the lot too. Fantastic, it's exactly what I was looking for. I just want to get away because there's more brim there and I want to come back and get some more maybe if I can land her. There it is guys, look at that. So. That's exactly what I was looking for, just that little bait. And you won't believe what size fish you can catch with such a little bait. I might need my net for this one, actually. Nice and strong, too. All right, let me go grab my net quick. All right. Yo, this is a nice fish. This is a good one, guys. This is a real good one. Really happy to get this. All right, let's have a look at it. Oh, there we go, in the net, yes. And that's what we're looking for. What a beauty, look at her, wow. So guys, there it is, look at that. That's in the canals, right on the bottom end of the Maruchi River. Look at the size of her, she's absolutely stunning and she really took that bait well. And you can see that it's just a little chicken nugget for these brim. You wouldn't think such a small bait would get such a big fish. But there she is, what a beauty. Let me get her off and I'll show you. And there you have it guys, look at that beautiful fish, man. That's exactly what we came up here for. There's a couple more down there, I'm gonna see if I can get them. But uh, hey, listen, in the canals, in the lower end of Maruchi River, there's the fish, man, wow, that is so cool. Anyways, baby, thank you, thank you. Let's put you back in the water, and we'll see you soon, cheers. Yes, good catch. I saw that brim just sitting underneath there. I'm gonna try it again. This time a little bit faster, see if it'll take it on a faster one. These, these brim are tough, as brim always are typical once they've seen it oh there you go there you go look at that oh as i was saying typical bream what do i know so this is the one i sighted another nice fish and exactly what we're looking for yes guys and i'm in that spot i found a spot with brim for sure and again what do i really know you know like i'm talking about how tough it is and how brim don't revisit this one i saw came out went back in and then it came out again so it's not a massive one this one but i do want to get it in all right come on baby here we go well, there it is, guys. What a great little fish and uh, very, very happy. Uh, it took the bait uh, on the second or third time I pitched it at it. But a nice little strike, very aggressive, very cool. I found the spot, guys, in the canals of the Maruchi. All right, I'm going to let you go back in the water. Bring your big mama. Yes, please. 
This is where we got the last one, guys. I've just reapproached it again. I didn't fish this part over here. To me, again, that might have been a situation where I did see one fish just over there, and then all of a sudden, it seems like there's a couple of them hanging around here. So worth throwing a few baits, and that motor oil is such a deadly color, guys. Such a deadly color. You should definitely use it. Keep it in your tackle box. Another one, another one, another one, another one. Yes, please. Girls and guys, we are definitely getting on these bream right now. Wow, I'm gonna get this one. I want to get this out into the open water because I've definitely found a pattern here. <laughs> Guys, again, just went to exactly the same spot. So I've definitely found a, ba a batch of good brim here. Same bait. I just fixed it, changed it, put it to a new perspective, a little bit bigger. Boom, straight in. And it's a nice one too. It's not, not massive, but it's a beautiful brim. Nevertheless, very excited. Now, of course, the sun is going to shine directly in your eyes when I'm fighting a fish. That is just a standard thing. And there we have it, guys. So just got the sun out of the way. But it's fighting this one. Wow, these, these ones are definitely fighting. But anyways, guys, here we go. This one I can lift maybe. Yes, please. There we go. Wow, and there it is. So another beautiful fish. And again, look in the mouth. Stunning. And ah, let me just see that. Look at that. They love that little bit of candy. See, so use that candy. A uh, little motor oil, man. Great color to use. It's, uh, it's not something that they find suspicious, you know, and that's why it works. Look at that guys, another one, beautiful. We found a spot here, definitely up the canals on the lower Maruchi River. All right, buddy, thank you. We'll see you soon when you get bigger, cheers. So guys, that's great. We went right up to the end of those canals. Now we're going back down into the main water. I'm gonna fish on the way out. The tide is changing and I need to be on the incoming tide. I wanna see if there's some trevally and stuff around on some saltwater lures. So that's what I wanna do. So we're gonna carry on going. Hopefully we get some more, but it's been a great event. We got. A beautiful beautiful bream there that was fantastic so let's see what we can do here we go see this lovely point here guys and you know i've had a lot of times where there's been good fish just sitting off now i fished this very deep bowl here and i'm looking for trevally at the minute and i haven't found them in there so i'm going to try on the bank as it drops off and see if they're patrolling the edges here using a little crankbait i'm definitely working something here that is just way light but i uh, haven't got them to bite on the bigger baits just keeping it slightly off the bank like that rolling it who knows let's see if there's anyone home nice 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 all right i got a good fish on here don't know what type it is but it's a decent fish on a crankbait so i've got to really work it to get it in it's uh, a lot stronger than i expected it to be and it is definitely what i'm wanting right guys i've got a fish on here very very light tackle and on a crankbait, I'm just trying to keep it up. It's uh, definitely a decent fish of some sort. It took me and it ran and uh, got to work it here. Oh boy, well, I'd love to land this one. Listen to that thing, it's just singing. It doesn't want to come to me at all. If I fight it real slowly, I should get it in. Of course, the sun will be right in the back again. Sorry about that. All right, let's see if we can get this in. Take my time, of course. Make sure that uh, I get this fish in. I've got a six pound line, very light tackle, very light rod. So it's gonna be a bit of a, a deal. If I can get this one in, this will be fantastic. Real slow here, guys, real slow. I haven't seen it yet, guys, I haven't seen it yet. It's definitely a good fish. I made sure I set all my drags just properly yesterday evening when I set up so that if this happened in these canals, that I'd be able to at least have a chance to get these fish in. This is a good fish. I don't know what it is yet. No idea. Six pound line. Give it some line, give it some line. Keep giving it line, keep giving it line because it's a little bit strong for this setup. If I just take my time, I should be able to get this one in. I just gotta take my time. I'm not even able to turn it at the minute and I don't want it down the bottom, so I'm trying to keep its head up. There we go, a little bit of line in. Oh boy, this one's giving me a good ref, guys. Wow, I haven't seen what fish it is yet. It's absolutely bowed me over. I've got the lightest tackle ever. Oh yeah, haven't seen it up yet. It's gonna run again. I'm just gonna loosen my drag a little bit more because it's gonna run again. There we go. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I've got on here. I'll tell you what, it definitely is a decent fish. Man, that thing is absolutely, I don't wanna force it, man. I've got light tackle. New line though, I made sure I had new line on. And the drag set is everything. And I don't want it, to, I'm in about five meters of water, fortunately. I was fishing around here for a big fish. And I think I might've just found that, but on very, very light tackle. This is the lightest tackle you can possibly catch a fish on. And oh, it's a beautiful Trevally. Yes, I've got to get this in. It's a beauty. It's exactly what I was looking for. All right, I need the net. Let's go. Oh. 
So exactly what we were looking for today, guys. Let's see if I can land it. Let's see if I can land it. Yes. All right, guys. That's what I was here for. Man, I took out all of these baits, big baits, and I was moving around in this big bowl in here in the channels. And I had a few of these follow on. And I then went to the edges and I started going around the edges and I was right on the point, just over there. And I had a little crankbait on and yes, there she is. That's what I came here for, guys. Let's check it out. All right, guys, and there she is. Look at that, she smashed that. What a great fish, man. Wow, beautiful colors and nice trevally. That's exactly what I was after. I came to get these today. I'll tell you what, I tried everything paddle tails, I tried jerk baits, I tried everything and it was a crankbait that eventually, fortunately I put some better hooks on it, but uh, it was a crankbait eventually that, that caught her, so she broke a few hooks and stuff, there's a nice one, hey listen, if that's what's here in the canals, let's keep on fishing and see what else we can find, fabulous, beautiful fish, let's get her back in the water, what a beauty, alright baby, let's go, and off she goes, what a fantastic catch, well guys, there you have it, that little guy there uh, very cool little flashy minnow and I use these a lot in actual fact I just got a few new ones because they get so scraped up as you can see but that guy there is a bait that just gets a lot of fish going and I'd gone from a bigger bait and I was just twitching this along the side just to see what happens and I'd be fishing the deep water and so on but there she is man that's the one that got the bite you can see the hooks are stripped I'm going to put new hooks on but I'm going back in so cool man check it out into the bag of tricks to get some more hooks and fortunately I did put some hooks on yesterday because I wanted some sharper ones I had lost some fish on a previous uh, time right by the boat and so this time I made sure my knots were good I made sure that my drags were set right and that that was exactly the reason why I got that fish my drag was set just perfectly and it, and it just rolled it had the line I mean that fish should never come on a rod a little flick stick like that with six pound line but uh, it just shows you, you can catch it. Just set your rigs up well. I'm gonna put some more hooks on now and uh, get that bait back in the water. And hopefully we can get another one. Let's see. Straight away on again. I've just done it all over again. Wow. This is a big fish again. This is the second one on that same rig as I brought it back in. Look at this thing going. This is unbelievable. Guys, I've done it again. Next cast, on the bank, another big Trevally. Ah, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. This thing is actually pulling the boat around and uh, I'm gonna try and land it. I gotta get to deeper water to do that. So let's go and chase it. Gosh, straight away back in. And I think these fish are coming from outside in and just nailing it. Just retired, put new hooks on. I've really gotta really fight this fish slowly though. Just unbelievable, second fish. Wow, guys, I haven't even got my gloves on this time. This thing is running like crazy. Look at that rod. Oh my gosh, guys, second cast, and it's another beautiful Trevelli. Same spot, same area, and I mean, this one feels heavier than the other one. Light tackle again, same one. I put some new hooks on this time, and I put it in, second cast, whack, on it. So I'm pulling it into that deeper water now, trying to get it out into the seven foot, seven meter water here. So I've got a chance to get it in and just take my time. Again, it's all on that drag, man. That drag is so perfectly set. And I mean, look at the slight stick I've got for these Trevelli, man. This is the second one. This is amazing, actually, I'm loving it. And I'm hoping I'm getting all this on camera for us because this is action, man. You know, we've got some nice brim. We've caught some big fish on the way in. And now we're getting some Trevelli and I came here today for these Trevelli, yeah. I've got a long, long fight here. This is a good fish, this one. I feel I've got to, got to work this one for a while. So good luck to me. It's just amazing, man. Look at this rod. This rod's got no pull whatsoever. Uh, it's just a little flick stick that I've been using and it works really nicely with lures and gets them really darting around and cheapest. There are Trevelli on that point and they are loving this lure. Welcome to Ebb and Rip Fishing because this is what it's all about. And guys, be sure, hit the like button, subscribe, Hit the bell, get notifications. There's lots more of this stuff coming up, guys. Check this channel out. Stay with it. It's awesome. I'm going to have to follow this fish on the electric motor here. I've got to keep it in this deep water over here. i just got to keep it in this deep water. There's no way I'm bringing this fish in unless I keep it in deep water. I'm so sorry about the sun, guys. There's nothing I can do. Man, this fish is not coming. Listen to that drag go. It is a good fish, this one. This is bigger than the other one for sure. Oh my gosh, this is a beautiful fish, guys. This is an absolute giant for this tackle. I'm hoping I'm going to land it. Just taking it easy at the minute. Oh yeah, she's coming. I'm going to need the net. 
Oh, she's not ready yet, man. Not wanting to snap it off, so I've just got to take my time. All right, let me get this net going. Oh, all right, get the net out. Thank goodness I got a bigger net, guys. But no, this fish is not coming at all. It's seen me. It's going straight down. And whew, it's a good fish. Oh man, this is an insane catch if I get this. Oh, give it some line, give it some line, give it some line. This is a bigger fish than the other one. This is absolutely insane, dudes. This fish is locked, I just can't get its head up. And I don't want to force it because I've got six pound line, six pound line on a little, tiny little reel, 1,000. All right, I'm gonna have one lift at this, guys. One lift at this. This is absolutely insane. Yes! Yes, 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 I got it. <laughs> that is just insane. You gotta check this fish out on six pound line. Let me get you out of the sun so you can actually see what's going on. But uh, man, that was a fight of note. That was just sensational. Yes. All right, you guys. Check at the son of a gun out. Look at that baby. Another great looking true valley. I put new hooks on. I retired and I had my drag set right. That's the only way I could have bought this fish. This tackle is definitely way too light for this size of fish, but yes. Let me show you this fish as soon as I get it off. Are you freaking kidding me, guys? On a tiny little cranker like that. Second cast after I caught the other one, man. <laughs> Are you joking? Look at that beautiful fish, man. Another beautiful trevally absolutely insane and strong as that thing was not going to be slightly bigger than the other one so it's a really good fish and uh well check out took that thing man pow side of the mouth both hooks in i was a little sharp on this one though because i caught that other one but look at me shaking that was sensational so there you have it guys look at that man and that's going back in the water now what a fantastic fish and uh, so happy to catch it not the biggest one in the world, but on six pound line, that thing tested me. Anyways, it's time for it to go back in the water. Thank you, baby. You are amazing. And uh, we'll see you soon when you get a bit bigger. Look at that, guys. All right, back in the water she goes. Whew, what a catch, yes. When in doubt, go with what you know. We've caught fish on that before, and as I was saying, you know, I wanted a more natural presentation, but I'm going down into the deeper water now, darker water, so I'm gonna try that orange again that did catch for us before. So let's give it a go. Nice full ounce sinker on top, blackened, as you can see once again. And uh, we're gonna hit some of these areas up ahead of us here, which have some very deep drops in them. So let's see if we can find some marks here, hopefully. Oh yeah, that's a big one. I hope I'm getting this on camera. This is the one, guys. All right, we're on to the big one. And the wind and everything else, it's definitely a huge fish. The one we're looking for, I'm gonna take my time because I wanna get this fish. It is the big one. Here we go, guys. Absolute, absolute giants. And that's what we came here for, right? I wanna take my time on this fish. And just a little bit of candy seemed to make the difference there. Oh, yes. This is going to take some time to bring in, guys. I'm going to take my time, though. I don't want to. I don't want to lose this. But look how this is bowed over, man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. That's what we're after. Big ins. Big ins for the show, guys. Look at that rod. It's completely bowed over, guys. And there's no way. I'm not even pulling it towards me. I'm just going to have to fight it nothing else I can do now I don't know if I'm gonna lift this one again because you can see how the Sun just gets in the way every time I get a fish but this is a giant of a fish especially for lure fishing oh yeah not finished yet oh yeah guys not finished yet man and I want to get some good footage of this one so I definitely want to try and get it in oh yes nice I've caught these around the world in various different places most certainly in South Africa United States and now here in Australia on a on that bit of candy that I gave it and of course it's just a solid solid pull and really I don't even it's not coming on the boat I don't think I'm gonna bring this up boy oh boy this is a big fish for 
this but just shows you these rods 7.6 carbon graphite very very strong oh, i'm going to try the net let's see if that goes let's get this net out let's see let's test this net i bought a bigger net for bigger fish right well this is a big fish all right okay all right let's see if we can at least show you this fish let's just see if we can even get her close gotta watch that bob they will use their tail i can tell you that now they will use their tail you got to be careful oh yeah she's a big and oh boy look at that and that is what i came here for well, i actually came for jewfish but i got a big ray gotta show you all right guys there it is man there's our big stingray look at that beautiful beautiful fish wow and uh she's a big and got the bob sitting on the back there but there it is guys what a great catch and that's what we're after big fish today came for big fish getting big fish I'm going to put it back in the water soon and uh, we'll let it go but that is a good fish very good fish for us Ooh, watch that tail there it is guys look at that beautiful beautiful stingray and she's going back in the water now so there it is wow and thank you baby Woo! there she goes and yeah man that was a fight so guys there it is man and um, definitely definitely rig up after a fish like that i've just put a brand new leader on but there's that little bit of candy and it was the second cast as i made the change boom so for some reason on the marichi river they like that orange and uh pearl sort of color and yeah crazy stuff man i've been using a bait that is so close to the real thing and i didn't even get a look at it and then boom straight away put that down tick 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 bang i don't know don't know why they're eating that but they just are cool let's get back at it interesting